also an entirely new species. They seem to be spreading much faster. The worms, they just happened to be found where they would do the most harm. There was a strange light and burst of sound before the Juno went down. Secure the station and get back here. Everything has to be by the book with her. I don't believe that they can be occurring entirely independent from one another. There must be some connection. We found an organic substance in the brainstem of a whale. You think the substance is causing the changes in behavior? The wavelength of the light and the frequency of the sound, they're identical. I was wrong not to trust you. I'm sorry.
Um, I, I'm really sorry I'm late. Can I go ahead? I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm really sorry. I'm so sorry. Late. If I could ask you to turn your attention to the screen. In red, you will see where the infected crabs first came ashore in Japan. Ma'am, can I see your badge, please? Following the infestation of infected crabs, which swarm coastal areas in South Africa, Brazil, Morocco, and India. How are you? Good. It's good to see you. From the initial point of contact, the bacteria has infiltrated every source of water both man-made and natural, everywhere it was introduced. 40% of the Earth's population lives on the coast. If the swarms of crabs appear elsewhere, we will be looking at one of the largest displacements of human beings the world had ever seen. Dr. Roche. Yes? We have been aware of the effect warming of the ocean will have on rising sea levels number of people who will be displaced as a result, as well as the effect it would have on the pathogenicity of bacteria, as well as viruses, fungi, parasites. Yeah. Sigur, are you watching this? I am. Um, I'm going to call you back. So, the emergence of a more deadly strain is uh, unfortunately not a surprise. No. It's not. But what we could not have predicted was that it would be carried ashore by an invasion of an unknown species, which seems to have no other function than to infect us with the bacteria it carries. Dr. Rosh, are you suggesting that the crabs deliberately polluted our waterways? I'm not suggesting it, Mr. Peake. The data is. Hello? Rico. Hi, Sigur. I'd like to talk to Dr. Horsch. Do you, do you think you could arrange that? I'll speak to her this afternoon. Good, good. Also, do you know if Leon Anawak will be speaking, or anybody from the Vancouver Island Marine Institute? He's not on the roster. Why are you asking? I'd like to meet him. When? As soon as possible. Do you think there's a chance? I'll see what I can do. Tell me to get inland. This is going to get worse before it gets better. This is our home. I know. I remember you out there, at the height you are now, running from waves, your mother chasing you down the beach. I reckon you're more at home out there than you were between any four walls. You're right. Still am. Yeah. I appreciate the concern, Leon. We all do. But until Murray Cove is gone, most of us will be staying here. Jet Quitman told me. There's a comfort in knowing you're right where you're supposed to be. Once near. You really think moving inland's gonna make a difference? safe within the coast. 
I'm with kid on this one. Move inland? For what? Facing it head on, my own terms? Sounds better to me. While I'm gone, you'll... Keep an eye on things? Yeah. I'll do my best. Let's just hope everything is still standing when you get back. Do us proud, kid. So, if we go on the assumption that the attacks were not random... Which I don't think they are. Right, well, that would suggest that they were strategic, that they were part of an overall plan. I know how it sounds. I have racked my brain to find another explanation. And you can't? No. And what's more alarming is that I think that whoever's behind it is learning. The strain of bacterium we found in the lobsters was brought ashore by the fishermen who caught them. The infected crabs came ashore by themselves. You understand why I decided not to mention that to the council? Well, as it happens, I... I agree with you, as do several others. Would you be free to meet? Um, in Trondheim? No, in Kiel. Institute for Marine Biology. I think you know Katrina Lehmann. Uh, not well, but yes, we have spoken a few times. Um, th the thing is, uh, <clears throat> uh, I promised my children I'd be back. Yeah, I know, it's a lot to ask. When? Tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. Hey, uh, Raheem, Leon Anouak is on his way. Could you go down and meet him? Bring him to the lab when he arrives? Sure. Yeah? Thanks. <clears throat> Leon Anouak? Yes? I'm Rahim Amir. I work with Professor Lehman. Good flight. I've never flown on a private jet before. <laughs> you and me both. Please. Uh, the cafeteria is shut, but we have some coffee and sandwiches in the office. If you'd like to eat something before we get started. You spoke to the others? Yeah. Cecile, Leon. Professor Lehman? No. No. I thought it better to wait for some backup. In recent days, weeks, we have all seen things that should not be, and yet are. Populations of marine species growing at a rate so exponential, it seems to defy biology. Whales behaving as if possessed. The eruption and channeling of water from long dormant sites over vast distances. 
mm. species infected with mutant strains of bacteria poisoning our water. I believe something is behind the events we have all witnessed firsthand. Something that has weaponized the seas against us. If these phenomena are in fact connected, that they are outside the bounds of what we currently know to be true, that they are somehow the work of some sort of intelligent life force, which wants to drive us from the ocean. Is that what you're suggesting? Yes. But, but we've hardly scratched the surface of what might be a plausible explanation. Professor Lehman, that's true, I agree. But instincts tell me this is something else. Leon, I would never question the importance of following your instinct or how intuition has been the impetus for so many breakthroughs in our field. But to abandon everything we know to be true, to jump to such a conclusion. Katerina, it's because all I know to be true is no longer true that I did begin to look elsewhere. And I, I cannot help but think that what's happening in the sea is in some way a reaction, a response to what we have done to it. Cecile, you're asking me to unearth the foundation on which my training, my research, my teaching has been built. I can't. I'm sorry. I shall let you do it. But before I do, I must warn you, this could be a very dangerous road to be going down. At a time like this, with a world so unstable, to suggest that we cannot find the truth in science as we know and understand it, you must realize the level of disruption that might be unleashed onto the psyche of the world. Sie glauben nicht, dass wir eine Chance haben, richtig zu liegen? Es geht nicht darum, eine Chance zu haben. Es geht um Wahrscheinlichkeit. Und wenn die Wahrscheinlichkeit gering ist, dann ist es klüger, vorsichtig zu handeln. Und das macht ihr nicht. Wir haben keine Zeit, vorsichtig zu handeln. Das kann man sehr leicht sagen. Aber genau jetzt ist die Zeit, besonders vorsichtig zu sein. Dein Ruf, der Ruf von euch allen steht auf dem Spiel. Was soll uns unser Ruf bringen, wenn es so weitergeht? Du brauchst eine gute Reputation. Sonst wird man dir nie zuhören. Wenn man an etwas glaubt, dann zieht man es durch, trotz Risiken. Das habe ich von Ihnen gelernt. Charlie, ich verstehe deinen Idealismus. Aber nach meiner Erfahrung gehen diese Art von Risiken meistens schlecht aus. The slots are all 30 minutes. If your proposal is selected, there is a follow-up with the council. All supporting documentation needs to be sent in advance. Yeah, um, yeah, we're working on that as we speak. Trouble is getting increasingly difficult. I'll have my office make arrangements. I will need the names of those accompanying you. Um, Cecile Roche, Leon Anouak, Charlie Wagner, and um, Rahim. Amir. And Professor Lehman. Um. Yeah, un unfortunately, 
Professor Lehman won't be joining us. She has a different view. She does. Yes, but Riku, I assure you. You don't need to assure me. Professor Lehman's name would have added a credibility to your presentation, but uh, if your findings are sound, they'll speak for themselves. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Rico. How long have you studied under her? Professor Lehman? Mm -hmm. Three years. Two more to go if I want to finish my PhD. Mm. It's probably not the best time to be making decisions about the future. <laughs> no, probably not. Um, when, you, when you spoke in front of the council, mm -hmm. you said we were looking at the largest displacements of human beings the world has ever seen. I did, yes. Do you think... Do you think it's possible that this intelligence doesn't actually want to destroy us? Do you think maybe it just wants to drive us from the water and keep us from coming back? I would like to believe so. I would like to believe its intentions are defensive and not aggressive. But you aren't sure? Right now, no, I can't be. None of us can, unfortunately. Once we've eliminated the impossible, whatever's left, however improbable, must be the truth. Who said that? Sherlock Holmes. I think it fits. What is that? something my mother gave to me. Huh. May I? Does it mean something? When I was little, I used to ask so many questions. I remember driving my mom crazy. She limited the number of things I could ask, so I had to be more selective. There came a point when I was asking things she couldn't answer. She gave me that. She said it was a symbol for the unknown. Of course, it was just for me to ease my mind. Did it work? For a while. But I don't think I'm the kind of person who can accept the unknown. Neither am I. on the ocean in British Columbia. It's part of the culture there. I think most people remember being kids in boats on the beach, seeing the burst of an orca spray or the flick of a grace fluke. I saw an orca when I was in the Shetlands. I kept going back out for a couple of days, hoping to see it again, but I never did. 
You're a lot shyer than most people think. <laughs> what? Professor Lehmann hates it when we talk about animals like people. But we all do it. <clears throat> I don't think people realize how similar they are to us. They'll travel weeks, months, to meet a whale whose song they heard. The devotion to each other. I don't see how you can perceive it as anything but fascinating. It's beautiful. Species of marine life, bivalves, crustaceans, to name a few, have mutated to carry out deliberate attacks on humanity. That's correct. And that certain species of whales have been altered on a chemical and biological level, prompting them to act with total aggression with no regard for their own well-being or even survival to push us inland, to make the coastline of every country around the world uninhabitable. And all of this, all of it, is the work of an... An intelligence. Such as an alien intelligence? I didn't say alien. We have many intelligent species on this planet, Dr. Johansson. We do. But we believe that this intelligence surpasses anything we've seen in other species, perhaps even our own. What we are seeing, the alteration of existing species, the creation of new ones, that's, that is far beyond anything that we're able to do. Perhaps we'll ever be able to do. Can we assume, Dr. Johnson, that you have considered other less original ideas? I have. I think we all have many times. A lab experiment gone wrong. Decaying nuclear waste containers leaking radioactive material into the ocean. A hostile state. Bioterrorists genetically modifying species to use in a coordinated attack as many as I'm sure you have asked yourself. And if you have come up with some plausible, less original idea, that explains all the phenomena that we have witnessed, then please tell us. Because we have not. Nor, by the presentations we've heard so far, has anyone else. And uh, this new intelligence could ask what you are calling it for uh, them? For the time being, I've taken to calling them the year. The year. Correct. How would you proceed in event we consider your thesis? I would suggest, as a first step, we try to establish contact. Contact. With the year. And if you are able to contact them, Dr. Johansson, what would you say? What I would say to any invading force that I stood no chance in combating, 
I'd ask them to stop and do everything I could to try to come to terms. Um, one final question, Dr. Johansson. You're on the faculty of Trondheim University. I am currently on sabbatical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've been consulting for uh, Austad Energy. Correct. Which financed your research. They financed the trip during which we discovered the Circe Metanicola, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are there other sources of funding? The Mufuna Foundation has offered to cover our travel, accommodation. But uh, you haven't received any support from the institutions which you and your colleagues uh, are associated. No. Not at the moment. If there are no other questions, thank you, Dr. Johansson. Thank you all. Y'all do come up with some interesting stuff. Elysia did promise it would be worth the trip, and she did not disappoint. Sam looked into the sound we picked up when we tagged the whale. They're all variations of rhythms, clicks, scratches, all the same pitch and frequency. All earmarks of a language. The question is, what kind of language? I trawl through our records. Uh, Ariel keeps logs of sounds that originate from the Earth as well as the galaxy. We picked up the same signal. From space? Much more close to home. Antarctica and the Arctic Ocean. Now, I'm checking with some colleagues at other organizations around the world to see if they picked up something similar. What do you think? About the year? I think I wouldn't be much of an astrophysicist if I didn't think it were possible. And if I asked, would you join us? What would you say? The team we have, we all know the water. But none of us could do what you do. Would I join you? Yes, I would. Thank you for coming. Mr. Mifune, you're 615. Dr. Johansson. 15 minute slots, huh? You must be a busy man. 15 minute slots, so my meetings stay on point. Over the years, I've come to realize that time management is as valuable a skill as any. It allows me to spend time on the things I'm truly passionate about. I'm sorry to hear the council did not approve your mission. So am I. Although I can't say that I'm surprised. You may not have convinced them, but you have convinced me, Dr. Yansen. I have made my fortune of the planet's gift including its oceans, and I believe it's my duty to repay the favor. By doing all I can to undo the damage we have done and limit the damage done in the future. Which is why I would like to fund a new venture if you are prepared to accept my support. I would like to back your mission. I, like you, we 
wish to know if what you say is true. Does this ear exist? I didn't think this day would come. Uh, doubt any of us did. But now that it has, it's up to you to decide whether or not you want to go through with it. Samantha, Alicia, we've just met. With the high regards with which Leon speaks of you and, of course, what I know about your work, I have no doubt that your joining us would be of great benefit to our mission. We sail in 48 hours. Once on board, there will be a complete communication blackout. This is to protect the security of our mission and whatever we discover. So, those of you can go home and make it back by the time we sail. Well, this could, this could be your, your last chance to say goodbye. Because there are no guarantees. I can't guarantee the success of the mission. There are no guarantees that we will make it back alive. So those of you who feel that you do not want to carry forward, I think I speak for everyone when I say I understand I understand, and it will in no way reflect poorly on your character. But for those who do, I'll see you at the airport. Excuse me. I think I'm going to call it a night. It's been a long day. Thank you. Charlie, I'm... You're not coming. I wish I could. I wish I were like you, but I'm not. Of course you are. What are you talking about? The mission will not succeed or fail based on my input. But it may without yours. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna meet Max and head down to mom and dad and see my new niece and ride it out with them. <laughs> and you can come and tell me about it when you get back. Alicia. It's a shame that it took this long for you to get invited to a proper conference. <laughs> My conferences are proper. Well, you never get to stay in hotels like this. Well, good thing you didn't marry me for the party. <laughs> it would have proven very disappointing if I did. Regarde, il y a maman. Je dis n'importe quoi, bien. Maman, qu'est-ce que tu Je vous ai pas dit que tu rentrais. Pensavo tornassi la settimana scorsa. Scusa, mi sono dovuta fermare a Ginevra qualche giorno in più. Ho parlato con il dottor Coletti. Non c'è niente di cui preoccuparsi. Sì, lo so, ma... Ma è solo un piccolo intervento. Qualche giorno di riposo e starò bene. Sì, ma è meglio che venga qualcuno a stare con te finché non torno. Perché non ti fermi? E devo andare a fare una missione nell'Artico. Artico? Vuoi andare nell'Artico adesso? È il mio lavoro. Torni per dirmi che non devo preoccuparmi e poi mi dai motivo di preoccuparmi. Ma da quando hai bisogno di un motivo per preoccuparti? Ti preoccupi sempre. Ma è ovvio che mi preoccupi, sono tua madre. 
posto correre continuamente in giro per il mondo. Alicia, non è vita. Eh. Viva a modo mio mamma, ok? È diverso dal tuo, ma non per questo è sbagliato. Io voglio che tu sia felice. Voglio che tu faccia quello che più ti appassiona. Però io vorrei avere anche tempo di parlare con mia figlia. Voglio che mi racconti tutto di te. La prossima volta promesso. Ma per adesso non possiamo solo goderci un po' di tempo insieme. Cucinare, ascoltare della musica. Sì. Cucino io però. E scelgo anche la musica. If you say no, I won't. Do you really think I'm gonna say no? Sam, who do you take me for? I don't know what will happen out there. You don't know what will happen here either. You know what I mean. Sam, this is something that goes beyond what you or I want. Will you be proven right? <laughs> who knows? But you're doing your part to find an answer, and God knows we need answers right now. Hi. And I'm blijf here, and I'm waiting on you totdat je terugkomt. I made a list of the people I did with at the bank. My lawyer has a copy of my will. She set up a trust for the children. You are an executor alongside her. Okay, fine, yeah. I wrote down the name, numbers of the doctor. She has a list of all their immunizations. And the name of the teachers. Okay. Yeah. I promised Isabel. We would take a trip for her birthday if she improves her grades. Why don't we do this later? No, we need to do this now. Why? Because I can't live without knowing that if something happens, they'll be taken care of. You don't have to go. I do. No, stay. We're safe here. If we are right, if there is something out there and we don't figure out a way to get it stopped, no way we'll be safe for anyone. I hardly know them. I don't know what they like, what they don't like, who their friends are, what they do when they're alone. I mean, we never talk. I mean, all, all we do is uh, dance around each other, afraid to say the wrong thing. You're still getting to know themselves at this age. You'll catch up. You know that. I know. What time do you need to leave? First thing in the morning. I leave these with me. Okay. Thank you. Well, I think we better play that game. <laughs> okay. Who has first go? I do. I did double five. Hey. I have first go. Always have first go. <laughs>
just came in. Turn around 310. We are having guests. 